Hello and welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman. Today we're going to try to finish up Lucentia. Um, well, I don't know if finish is exactly the goal, but we're going to return back to Illyria's tomb with a triangle that will let us get deeper into the tomb. And with that, let's unpause the game. I figured out a trick, by the way. I don't know if it's a cheesy trick, but it's definitely part of the game. Um, I can, for example, start up a bard song, such as Bring Around Ballad, which helps me get spell points back, and then I can say, I want to cast, I want to use a um, bard song, and it asks me who will play, and I can just not answer this. And um, the timer continues, but fights will never happen. I think uh, Chris Freeman mentioned this on his min discussion Maybe it wasn't him. Someone mentioned in a... It might have been on a web forum that there's a... There was always a way to of pause this game in a sense, which was to, say, cast a spell and pick a character and never answer the question, and that also avoided fights. I think that was Chris. Anyway, um... Uh... I never used these tricks, I think, in my playthroughs as a kid, or past decades. Anyway, but I used it here because it was convenient for, um, I don't know, it's less risky than pausing the emulator was the main, the main thought. Um, so, to go back to the overworld map, here we are, um, leaving the city, and because we're going to go to the second layer, the second, um, part of the tomb, or progress in the tomb. Maybe the tomb has more than two parts. But I figure these roses are gonna come in play come into um I don't know, they're gonna become relevant because they have to be relevant at some point, and there's a song about needing about about like the order of them and everything. So I'm gonna go recollect them now. I already have the rainbow rose. The, the main thing I'm going to have to do is, of course, make inventory space, which is why I don't currently have them. Uh, container contains water. I don't care. I'm discarding it, whatever it is. Okay, so Grisnock has the white rose. And I think I'm loading a fight not actually interested in. Oh no, I'm just not, I just failed to answer the question of, do I want to pick a flower? And it wouldn't let me move until I answered the question. Okay, so what else can I get rid of? Because I'm going to need some more inventory space soon. Uh, I definitely, I do not need this book. This book turns out to, it seemed thematically Satisfying. This is a book that only paladins can use that you use to dispossess people. So it's like a little exorcism thing. But I dispossess is a minor spell. I can cast tons of them. So that's some inventory space. I guess I can trade gems off, but that doesn't really make space. It just moves space around. Anyway, uh, it allows me to condense where the roses are, which is slightly satisfying. Am I facing... I'm, not, I'm facing... I, I guess it wasn't too useful to bring this map up if I'm not going to update the position uh, uh, where I am on it. But I'm really not going to. I'm going to just focus on getting my roses. Yeah, r running away from you. So I have the white rose, the blue rose, the red rose, but not yellow. Which is over here. So now I have yellow, red, blue, white, and rainbow, which I think are the only ones that exist, and I'm pretty sure they're the 
Oops. I don't I don't actually want to reorder my party. I wonder if I took down the what is my what is my current Mac Vim Windows? Oh, uh, edit buffer where I was like looking at YouTube download the command line options. So notes ga uh, games Bart's Tale three quests. Well, I took down the colors of the roses in here. The dragon stuck in the cave, which turned out to be required. For the rainbow rose. Uh, I guess I didn't update this with, you know... Need to do all the things we already done. Uh, this what time I didn't write down the notes. I kept them in my head. So where are we on the map? Three south, four west. Okay, so we need to go a bit north, and there's the two. the path is like this. Yeah, that seems right. So, double east. Run north, get silenced. Turn east. I think I'm having a fight load. More gems. I should probably be... Again, I really need to start just using my spells more. It can go both ways, though, because you can... Um, decide to use your spells more, and then you use them very freely and find out you're almost out of gems. So we're here. I don't like that I don't detect an odd there. Maybe I just overgeneralized where the odds are located. No, my sorcerer's sight is reduced somehow. It's probably an odd I never detected. Oh, and I just walked through a trap without setting it off. Levitation makes traps uh, unreliable. They frequently do not engage. But it doesn't defeat them entirely, so it's kind of, uh, I don't know. It's best to not tempt fate. Okay, who is the triangle? Because I forgot. Magic triangle. Use it. Griselda rings the triangle. A brilliant flash of light erupts from the exploding crystal. Okay. Erupts from the float exploding crystal, blinding the party. I was expecting the, the triangle to be the one that erupted the light, and I thought I was misreading. There's a There are black pieces of a shattered crystal here. They sure make a big mess. Do I still have the triangle? Did it get used up? I still have it. wonder if it has any other purpose. bet it does not. But, in any event, this has now become a door. 
I'm not gonna even put the door there. I'm gonna leave it special. Oh, of course, that will not the map server won't let me walk through the non door. Uh, there's stairs up. But what about these other small numbers of locations behind this door? Probably nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Up we go. Stairs are going down. Okay, auto map. How is this level shaped? This level is shaped totally differently. Uh, and there are some errant linked stairs where earlier I must have put up stairs at the wrong locations on. Oh, it's from when I was saying I know there's stairs on the other side of the map. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, How big is this place? Not that far to the north. Not that far. Definitely a lot smaller than the lower level. Maybe 10 spaces north and 15 across, something like that. Anyway, um, okay, let's start mapping for real. Looks like we have hallway. Why do we not have a stairway here? Oh, did I just not update? Oh, am I an idiot? No, I'm not. I know. Huh. I don't, I don't know why I didn't already have a stairway there. Whatever. Um... We got spells wavering. That's all we can detect. You see no signs of the desecration that took place in the outer chamber. Here the walls glow with intricate memorials lovingly created by the gnomes of Solaria Bree. What? I. Were there gnomes? I don't remember seeing any gnomes. Maybe I just missed the boat. But anyway, there are gnomes, and they created uh, mem memorials. Maybe, I wonder if they're carved? Or perhaps just magic. Anyway, typing this down. Be right back. Okay, and there's the message icon. Still haven't stepped on the anti magic, which means it must be right ahead. That one got rid of my life very promptly. You see a shadowy figure. That resembles a beautiful woman. She says, I want the flower of truth. Okay, so now I actually need... So now I need uh, the actual text of the Rose Song. Let's see if I have it in my notes. No, I did not write down the text of the song. At least, not here. Okay, let's. I'm gonna go find the song for the song text. Okay, resuming this recording, I can't find the text of the poem. I can find a lot of people writing walkthroughs, just saying do X. Um, but I did write down my interpretation of what those things meant, which was red was something about blood. Blue is about valor, yellow is about love, uh, and white was pledging himself. I'm going to guess that the white rose is the truth rose. And if it's wrong, we'll find out what happens.
Okay, so the pledging of self is apparently the flower of truth. I think that required some interpretation, even if we had the text of the song in front of us. Oh, I've been forgetting about my... Uh, oh, I'm standing in the anti-magic? Where am I? Going back to the tomb map. I'm... Okay, so... Maybe there are two... Um, two anti-magic spots back-to-back. -back. And I'm gonna... Um, foolishly, imp cheekily use um, the same symbol as I used for odd because it's a flower. I don't know what else to use for a ghost wants a flower in this location. Wants flower of truth. past where that requirement was, this uh, level opens up quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to start using um, odd for odd because the flower is now officially super awkward. Oh, and I'm standing on a hit point drain all this time, losing all my hit points without even noticing. Must have hit an odd spot. Maybe I'm standing on one. How about if I go over here? If I could type. I think these are both odd locations where the um, odd effect is at play. How about here? Well, here's our silence. Okay, so this is not odd, it's only silence. But I think there's more silence ahead. Yep. But to the north, there isn't silence, there is only a something. far through the dungeon did we explore, by the way? Uh, over halfway. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, maybe twelve across, something like that? I guess that's what I guessed last time. This something location is not draining any of my points. My spell points increased by two, so this is a spell point regen square. And probably this one will be two. Yep.
not actually checking the directions I'm not interested in. But I'm not, I guess there's nothing special to detect. This is still spellpoint regen. Yep. Uh, but no. SPR. No. So north we can't detect anything, so it can't be more spellpoint regen. It may just be a location with no special effects. That's possible. You're allowed to have those. I think that's what I'm seeing, which makes sense because this is the edge of the map. I can detect the stairs. Is this, this is the northern edge too? Okay, so I'm gonna be a little... What should I use? A different color? Sure. I'm gonna put in the edge boundary in gray. Of course, I don't know... I haven't bothered to figure out how far east it goes, but... I can figure that out now. Oop. No, like, it's hard to estimate. I wonder. I guess it's. You know what I can do to cheat? The characters are the same size as the map squares. So this is space A B O R. I don't know if that's cheating or if it's just like being creative. So it's five more. That's our total rectangle. Um, oh, no, it's not. Look at that. There's one more row to the north. So I'm a big fat liar. It does make me wonder, because uh, I think I just made a closed form, right? This area, this 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 triangle, I don't know if triangle is significant, we found I had a magic triangle, etc., is you know closed off. So how are we going to get outside it? finish the, the game at all. What am I doing? Oh, I, I tried to um, advance past another flower puzzle, and it just kind of just pushes me back. It's like, you didn't answer the puzzle, buddy. Oh, let's change the color. So this one wants a uh, flower of valor, and I think blue is valor. Got the blue one. Chris Knock. That seems like the right answer. It is causes them to fade away. The question, of course, is uh, what does the r wrong answer result in? I may find out yet, although it seems like it's getting easier. We've only got three colors left. Getting the right one by accident is coming becoming pretty likely. Okay, so here we can detect a trap. I don't know why we couldn't detect it before. Somewhere like that.
replacing the gray outer walls with our default of dark blue when we can confirm, you know, they actually exist. Since, as always, wraparound is an option. Oh, our... our well, I probably cast Sorcerer, or Sorcerer Second Sight instead of Sorcerer Sight. I guess the time-limited one, rather than the uh, on the permanent one. Okay, so that's how we're going to get out. Is there's a a teleporter? I don't know if teleporters can be two-way in this game. I don't know that I've ever had that happen. Uh, of course, I didn't copy the coordinates from the lower level, so using scry sight at this point is going to be pretty useless. The auto map is easy enough to understand, though. We're coming out here. I, I, I want to move my. What is. What? south, but I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, west is a corridor. East is open. This, I, my bet is, um, the way back. There's a teleporter back. Just, just to the east. Let's find out. Yep. And where did we end up now? Okay, so we need another t a teleporter in another color. Green is the return. Or rather, it's in. And out. something ahead. One, two, three, four. Oh, is this something which we already know about? It's like another flower challenge. Flower marker. Oh my goodness. Escape. Please let me look at this list. Uh, flower marker is here. Flower of kinship. Kinship. Maybe that's what they meant by blood? Because I don't think love means kinship. Okay. Um. 
But, yeah, because, like, I thought they meant by blood they meant something about... The... I don't know. Like, the blood of... Uh... Like, the blood you pay for fighting in combat kind of blood. Like, the... Somehow, or, like, blood meaning courage, valor, kind of sacrifice. But it turns out they meant blood is in relationship. As in familial relationship. not paying that close attention to my um, table of characters, so I could be getting points drained and not notice, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that's happening. This seems like uh, the level of diagonals. Poorly aliased diagonals. puzzle. How far in are we? Just here. The flower of nature? Really? I, I didn't think of any of them as suggesting that. I got left with the yellow and the and the uh, rainbow. I'm gonna say love is nature, like coupling, like procreation. Maybe these answers are all wrong, and this is, and you just don't get told the, that they're wrong. I I I don't know. My answers are wrong, I at least recorded my wrong answers. So that I can use different ones next time. No fights on this level? I'm starting to think that there aren't any. I, I, um, I don't know. I didn't think about it for a while. But now it seems increasingly like there's just no encounters here.
I'm definitely getting spell point drained here. And I have a message of some kind. Inset into the creamy white walls, you see roses of different shades carved from gemstones. They sparkle with a deep light and calm that you even hear in the... Oh, and calm you even here in the heart of danger. I wonder if this would be easier to read if the sentences were didn't have so many line breaks, uh, just because the resolution and the low... You know, this is the best the counter could do for words per page. Anyway, reading live with so many line breaks, it's a little tricky. Uh, so... Oh, no. Where's the... I wish the buffer of recently used uh, icons was a little larger. The very old-school D&D player in me thinks, Oh! Gemstones carved in the walls, let's cut them out. Let's, let's dig them out. Okay, so I've gotten beyond the uh, spell point drain, but um, that one definitely was. Not here, though. Not spell point restore, though, I'll tell you that. Okay, this area is not encounter free, uh, and I'm going to fight this, I'm going to keep this on record because I have no idea what a Romero is. Incidentally, uh, John Romero was not really part of the games industry at this time, or at least not known. Commander Keen had not come to the light at this time. I don't even know if he was involved in that project, but whatever. All that stuff had not happened yet. Um, Kills Overture, maybe? I'm going to give it a Mangar's Mallet and an Anti-Magic. And... Okay, so... They inflict insanity. The Romeros. And... They also summon more Romeros. I like to go slower. Instead, I went faster. Okay, so I need to heal Chantrell of her insanity. I should put the the mine may just do a shitload of damage I, I now remember. So restoration covers both of those goals. And I should pull in the mine mages so I can start killing them before they get a lucky bunch of casts off. They could do around two hundred and eighty points of damage to a sub single person with a spell, so theoretically they could be doing more than 500 damage to each party member. So two of them is potentially quite bad news. But Fatal Fist, well, Fatal Fist still is v way too strong for these level mo for monsters at this point of this game to resist effectively for them to tank it. What I was trying to say. Mm. This is like when you're mowing a lawn, uh, and you go around and around. first at first. Well, I guess you can do the back and forth pattern, but I always liked to do the spiral pattern. And at first, it seems like you're getting nowhere. Well, at first you're doing the edges, and the edges take some focus and concentration, and then. Uh, you're done with the edges, and the rest is like, oh, this is going to take forever, it's so boring. And by then, before you know it, you're doing the middle, and it takes no time, because you've already done most of the space. Okay. 
everything. So I went over here, back over here, here. This is a wall. These are gonna be walls. It's probably all the walls that I'm gonna have in the whole level. First to the south, back to the north. Whoop! I'm trying to walk past the flower, flower puzzle. Except this flower puzzle is probably give me the rainbow rose. Not much of a puzzle. I want the flower of Illyria. You six? Who has the flower? Rainbow rose on Griselda. Resting place of Illyria. Objects of great beauty are lovingly placed in all the four corners. Um, this is not an enclosed space. Oh well, we'll pretend. In the intricately, in this intricately decorated room sits the crown of truth. Um, Lillian can have the crown of truth. Oh nope. Zelda can have the crown of truth. Lying over the coffin is her belt. Where's Nack? We'll take that. Now. You are, you are in the resting... Okay. So if there are rest objects in the four corners, that would imply at least four objects. I guess you're gonna not gonna tell me about the other objects. Fine. I'm fine with that. I'm not bitter. Okay. Um, if I wanted to tell... Oh, I'll just use Scry Sight. How far do I have to go? 15 and 15. That is easy. Fifteen and fifteen and a one. Yep. I think that didn't work. Yep, for some reason I'm gonna have to walk out. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned with the other artifacts. The artifacts you get are really good items. They have the like the armor items um, will tend to have like large improvements in your armor class. Like, um, well, maybe we haven't gotten those so far. But I think like the the bow of the first guy, Valerian, I think, had a bow with his arrows of life. I think the bow gave you a bunch of armor class bonus, and the arrows of life did over like did over. It's strange the arrows of life doing damage, but they do. Uh, of course, the arrows run out, so that's not that exciting. I don't remember what Lamentier's sphere and so on did, but whatever. They've got a bunch of on use, um, as well as. Equip benefits. And I'm not gonna update my position on this map, but incidentally, we've already walked around this way, stepped in the teleporter, and I'm on my way back through this portion. Um, so you can equip that stuff, and it does provide a significant set of upgrades um, to your the equipment that you have at all phases of the game. The equipment you get from the very first quest is an upgrade from stuff you'll be getting at the very end of the game. However, in order to be considered... Oh, I didn't mean to do that be considered to have fulfilled these quests, you need to turn in the equipment to the old man, so I'm not going to bother figuring it out, um, because you can't use it and progress in the game without effectively cheating. Where have I gone? I'm, oh, I'm right here now. Um, that, that is a way that works. Just need to remove this trap. South. Um, 
I'm going to choose to run. I've now gone here, approximately. Getting pretty close to the exit. Probably could have killed those blue guards fast enough. And here's the way out. Uh, that is not what I meant to do. Character disc, where are you? There you are. Uh, I'm not going to bother to try to level up here in Lucentia. I'm going to go straight to the old man back in um, Ruins of Scarabray. So where's our... Oh, there's the way out, and we're here, uh, I don't know, one way to go is is around the north side of the town, and then over here. Now, what was the spell to get back? I think it's the reverse of Glidia. El Elik? No. You can check their list of spells and find it there, I guess. Oh, Ileg, not Elig. Ileg. I had... E-L-I-G instead of I-L-E-G. So I basically had the right idea. The reverse of the Glidia spell. Uh, head south, head west. There's town. Go around it. And in. Traverse the grand plaza. Here's the old man. Let's see what he has to say. And I'm gonna take notes this time. What the heck I'm doing, so I don't like sound like an idiot a moment later. The old man's look of grim determination withstands news of Illyria's deaths. Illyria's death, but the information saps some of his strength. Quickly then, my children to distant Canestia. You must return here with the Hammer of Wrath and Pharaoh Fist's Helm. Maybe Pharaoh Fist. I know Pharaoh Fist yet lives, but I cannot be sure of how long he will survive. Hurry, the pace quickens, and the outlook is horrible if you fail. A man wears some experience points, and he gives us our spell points back. So those are our goals for the next world in Kinestia. Yeah, so to get to get back from Arborea, we needed to cast Enic, which was the inverse, and so we had um, the first world is whatever one and four are inverse, and two and three are inverse. So that makes me wonder, you know, are the first four worlds like related? Is the next three going to be different? Whatever, we'll find out. Um, let's check with all those experience point bonuses what level we're going to be now, or how our level ups are going to go. Uh, Grisnak gets luck, and that's it. Just just one level for her, because she was had a recently gone up. Uh, Oaken Shield, I think, will go up twice. Gets Constitution and luck. Uh, 
Uh, Chantrell gets strength, which is not very useful for her, but whatever. Uh, Elena gets constitution, sorely needed. Elendor gets constitution, which is nice, and luck. She's leveled up twice. Uh, Griselda gets luck and intelligence. Lillian gets dexterity and at least has broken the level 13 barrier. So here's our party, a quick look at our party stats now. Grisnok, our warrior. Lady Oakshield, the paladin. Luck 11, still, still in the dumps. Chantrell, our bard. Elena, our rogue. 30 dexterity, I guess she's not gaining any more of that anytime soon. As in never, because that's the maximum. Um, Elendor, a chronomancer. Griselda, our archmage. And Lillian, our second archmage, our backup. Archmage. Uh, and oh, last but not least, before um, we leave the old man, we need to get our new Chronomancer spells. Which, for some reason, are done by a talk to the Elder rather than spell acquiring. Kinestia, the dimension of machines, is reached by casting Kinney. And Obra will bring you back, the reverse of Arborea. To the southwest is an old mine. You may reach Kinestia from there. So going back to our very original map of Scarabray, or the wilderness. Um, down in the southwest is the old dwarf mine. And that's where we'll be reaching Canestia. So that's it for this session. See you next time when we travel to Canestia.